Okay. This is still bubbling. The yeast in this is still bubbling. And I'm going to leave it here till it's still till the bubbling goes away. Then I'm going to transfer it to a second uh, uh, fermentation container with an airlock. Okay, so I've separated that bucket of fermenting apple juice into three buckets, about equal. And I've heated up some apple juice to 100 degrees, to about 100 degrees, about 100 degrees um, Fahrenheit. And I'm going to use this yeast, this uh, Red Star yeast, that is alcohol tolerant to 18% and will ferment at temperatures as low as 45 degrees Fahrenheit. That's all in the back and I'm losing some because I've already cut, I already cut into it. All right, so this is gonna go into my warm apple juice. It's about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna put that in there. And then that's it. I'm just going to let that stay like that for... Okay, so I set up this transfer pump that I bought at Harbor Freight. It has an in and it has an out. So the inside tubing has to go to the line and the out goes to my empty bucket. And I'm just going to start transferring it. Now, the tube that's in the line does not go all the way down to the bottom because I, I believe that there's going to be sediment down there and I want that to stay in that bucket I'm using the clamps because this tubing has a tendency to go all over the place I figured that out when I was doing my diesel fuel mix video it was a bit embarrassing Okay, so I've separated that bucket of fermenting apple juice into three buckets, about equal. And I've heated up some apple juice to 100 degrees, to about 100 degrees, about 100 degrees um, Fahrenheit. And I'm going to use this yeast this uh red star yeast that is alcohol tolerant to 18 percent and will ferment at temperatures as low as 45 degrees fahrenheit that's all in the back and i'm losing some because i've already cut i already cut into it all right so this is going to go into my warm apple juice it's about 100 degrees fahrenheit i'm gonna put that in there And then that's it. I'm just going to let that stay like that for... Okay, so the yeast has been sitting in the warm apple juice for 20 minutes. And now I'm going to take this, pour it into the one I want to restart. Doesn't look like there's any leftover yeast in there. And then top it off with apple juice. And I'm not adding, this time I'm not gonna add sugar. Mm. Why should I put that up? Oh. I'm not filling the five gallon 
stroke to the top, pluck it to the top rather. Because when I stir it, degas it, it gets all over the floor. That's good enough. All right. <clears throat> now, I'm going to do the specific gravity, although I don't think the specific gravity is going to be accurate because, or like a starter specific gravity because some of the wine already in there has already started. Okay, so it looks like looks like the specific gravity is one point zero eight zero and the potential is that potential approximate potential is like Ten percent. But I'll settle for ten percent if it turns out dry, because I want it to come out dry. <clears throat> now, I'm just going to leave this set for like a week with just the lid on there. Not clamped down tight. Okay, so this one has definitely restarted fermentation. And I'm just going to give it a stir. some gas coming out of there there's a whole lot more activity on the surface right now so it's definitely restarted <clears throat>